Ahead of the holiday weekend and graduation season, the La Crosse Police Department is reminding everyone to have a safe time while they celebrate the festivities. Police advise that when it comes to underage drinking, they want anyone that is hosting an event to be mindful and aware to ensure everyone is being responsible. The Lincoln Middle School building is officially nominated for a landmark designation. The Heritage Preservation Commission voted on the nomination tonight. A public hearing about the designation will happen next month. The council member of District 9, where the building stands, nominated the building for the designation. While we may no longer have a school, we hope that this building has uh, continuing life as you know, uh, development housing, uh, community use. If approved, any developers who take over the building would not be allowed to make changes to the exterior of the original school building. The additions made over several decades would be allowed to be demolished. Habitat for Humanity is looking for volunteers to help complete its first Trepalo County home. Construction on a house for Marcelina Jose and her five children began last October. Since then, builders have put down a foundation, framed walls, and installed plumbing and electric. Habitat gave tours of the progress while having a cookout. Now that it's summer, volunteers can help with the finishing touches. This is the part of the construction phase that I love so much because you have a concept um, and then you start putting wood together and putting walls up and windows on and all of a sudden you have a home. The future homeowner's daughter says the whole family is very excited to move into a more permanent home. Serving as the heart of their communities, Public Works employees help plan, build, and operate projects to help build a quality life for residents. Now, as part of National Public Works Week, the city hosted its sixth annual Touch a Truck event where the community is able to see the vehicles that Public Works employees use up close. One Public Works employee says that this event benefits both the kids and those who work for Lacrosse Public Works. I think it goes both ways. I think the kids really appreciate it as touch a truck, but then it gives us the opportunity to showcase what we do as a public works employee for the city of La Crosse. La Crosse Mayor Mitch Reynolds is also in attendance to proclaim this week as National Public Works Week here in La Crosse. He added that he's very grateful for every public works employee and their work should not be taken for granted. The Good Fight is hosting their third annual golf outing on June 25th, and there's only one more week until registration closes on June 1st. Registration is $60 per person, includes golf, a golf cart, a lunch bar, and more. There will also be a raffle and silent auction to help support area youth. For more information or to register, we will have a, or we have a link on our website. That's news8000.com. Derek, how's it looking outside? Well, you know, it's looking nice out there, just a little cool. So you may need that jacket here with you this morning, but uh, not for too much longer. We're going to warm up into the 50s and 60s by late morning, followed by the 70s as we head into this afternoon. Overall, very seasonable temperatures and uh, lots of sunshine to work with. Heading into your weekend, we go. We'll be looking at highs into the low 80s under a mix of sun and clouds. Memorial Day is looking nice with a high of 85 degrees and uh, partly cloudy skies. A uh, chance of showers and storms, very slight chance it is by mid to late next week. And warmer, too, with highs near those low 90s. Mm, I love looking at those low 90s forecasts. You know, I have to ask, as we approach the holiday weekend, what's your favorite Memorial Day memory? Oh, gosh. I don't know if I have any, to be honest. I mean, I, I just know that since I was a kid, it's always been a tradition to just go out and barbecue with friends and family. And yeah. Just, you know what I mean? But you also have to kind of remember those who sacrificed as well. So. Yeah, mine's definitely spending at the Jersey Shore. And don't forget to keep up with the news of the day on News8000.com. We'll have the latest updates to today's top eight stories on News8.